Now let us discuss about types of Turing machines or variants of Turing machine, different variations of Turing machine, variants of Turing machine or modifications of Turing machine. What are the various modifications that we can do? Okay. Uh, mainly we have uh, uh, seven types of uh, Turing machines are available. Seven types of Turing machines are available. So first one is two-way infinite tape Turing machine. Second one is multi-tape Turing machine. Third one is non-deterministic Turing machine. Fourth one multi-dimensional Turing machine. Fifth one multi-head Turing machine. Sixth one offline Turing machine. Seventh one multi-track Turing machine. Generally we know that any Turing machine mainly contains three components. So the first component is input tape. So input tape is divided into number of cells. Number of cells where each cell can store one cell break at a time. Uh, next we have a read write head. So with the help of the read write head we can perform a read operation or write operation. And next we have finite control. Finite control. Uh, here if you take uh, input tape uh, in Turing mission, the size of the input tape is infinite and we can have uh, uh, infinite number of blank symbols at the right hand side. So let the string is like this A B A B. We have infinite number of blank symbols at the right hand side, but we have only one blank symbol at the left hand side. Okay. Uh, first let us see about two way infinite tape. So the name itself specifies the meaning. So the tape is infinite at the left hand side as well as the right hand side. So we can have infinite number of blank symbols at the right hand side as well as at the left hand side also. In general Turing machine what will happen? The tape is infinite only at the right hand side. But the tape is not infinite at the left hand side. The tape here at the left hand side should contain only one blank symbol in normal Turing machine. Whereas in two-way uh, Turing machine, the tape is infinite to the right hand side as well as to the left hand side also. So we can store infinite number of blank symbols at the right hand side as well as left hand side also. So remaining things are same only. We have one read right ahead and one finite control. Now let us see about multi-tape Turing machine. The name itself specifies the meaning. Multi-tape means we can have multiple tapes. So instead of single tape, instead of single tape, we can have multiple tapes. We can have multiple tapes and uh, the tape is infinite at the right hand side as well as at the left hand side also. So we can have uh, infinite number of tapes. We can have multiple tapes, multiple tapes. And the tape is infinite at right hand side as well as left hand side also. And we have one finite control. So this is our finite control, finite control. Here in this diagram we have uh, uh, three uh, input tapes. So we should have three read write heads. So that this is the first read write head. Next, second read write head, third read write head. Let we are at Q naught state. Let we are at Q naught state. Let here the input symbol is A. Let here the input symbol is B. Let here the input symbol is C. Then A comma B comma C is equal to we will get some next state. Let the next state is Q1. Uh, let us do the right operation. Let us replace this A with X. Let us replace this B with Y. Let us replace this C with Z. So we can write as X comma Y comma Z. And we can move the read right head either to the right or left. It is our choice. So let us move one position to the right. One position to the right. Let us move one position to the left now. Let us move one position to the left now. Okay. So we can write as right, right, left. So here multi tape means here we can have multiple tapes, single finite control, but multiple read write heads. Okay. So here A, B, C are replaced with X, Y, Z and we can move the read write head either left or right. Okay. Uh, now let us see the third one. The third type of Turing mission is non-deterministic Turing mission. So till now we have seen deterministic Turing mission. 
So deterministic Turing machine means on a plain input symbol, we can go only in one way. Various non-deterministic Turing machine means instead of one choice, we can have multiple choices. So let we are at Q0 state. Let the input symbol is A. Then we can replace this A with X. Let us move towards the right. Let the input symbol is A only. Replace this A with Y. Let us move towards the left. Let the input symbol is A. Replace this with Z. Let us move towards the right. Here the input symbol is same only. The input symbol is A only. But here in the first choice, we are replacing with X. Second choice, we are replacing with Y. Third choice, we are replacing with Z. So instead of one choice, we can have multiple choices. So this is called as non-deterministic Turing machine. Now let us see about multi-dimensional Turing machine. So till now we have seen only one-dimensional Turing machine. Whereas multi-dimensional Turing machine means instead of one dimension, we can have multiple dimensions. So we can have two dimensions, two rows, or we can have three dimensions, uh, or we can have four dimensions. So four dimensions means four rows. And we know that each row is made up of columns. So this is in uh, some table format like this. Uh, in any, here also we can have only one finite control and only one read right head, only one read right head. So let the uh, read right head points to this cell. Uh, let the read right head points to this cell. Uh, generally, we can move either to the left or right. Whereas in your multi-dimensional Turing machine, we can move the, we can move the read right head towards the right or towards the left or towards the up or towards the down also. So generally we will move either to the left or right. We can move the read right head either to the right or left. But here instead of right and left, we can move either towards the right or uh, we can move towards the up as well as we can move towards the down. Okay. So out of four, left, right, top, down, we can move in one direction. Okay. So this is called as multi-dimensional Turing machine. Now let us see about multi-head Turing machine. So multi-head Turing machine means instead of one read right head, we can have multiple read right heads. So here we are having only one input tape. So let the input tape contains three symbols like this, ABC, ABC. And here we are having only one finite control. But instead of one read right head, here we can have multiple read right head. Let this is the first head. Let this is the second head. Let this is the third head. Let we are at Q naught state. Let the uh, let the uh, let the head points to A B C symbols. Then we can replace this B A with X. We can replace this B with Y. We can replace this C with Z. Okay. We can move the head uh, in in our choice. We can move the head towards the right or towards the left also. It is our choice. Okay. So multi head means uh, we, uh, we instead of one head we can have multiple heads. But only one input tape and only one final control. Okay. Uh, next one is offline Turing machine. Offline Turing machine is also similar to the multi tape Turing machine. So that means here also we can have uh, uh, multiple tapes. Multiple tapes. Let this is the first two tape. Let this is the second tape. Okay. Let this is the second tape. Uh, here also we have one finite control. Uh, let we are having uh, uh, two read write heads. Here, offline Turing machine means uh, we can do, it is a read-only tape. Uh, let, uh, let, let the first tape is read-only tape. Read only tape. Let here the symbols are AB. Here, uh, this head is read-head only. We can do only read operation. We can't do the write operation here. We can't do any modifications on this tape. Okay. So this A, let us replace this A with X. So that modification will be done in the second tape. So let us do, let us replace this B with Y. So that modification will be done in the second tape. So offline uh, Turing machine means, it is also similar to the multi-tape Turing machine only. But here, uh, we can have read-only Turing machine. So that means here on this first two tape, we do the only the read operation. The corresponding write operation will be done in the second input tape. Let us uh, see the last Turing machine. That is multi-track Turing machine. Multi-track Turing machine. So that means here we are having only one input tape only, one input tape only, one input tape only. So this is the left to blank symbols, uh, right blank symbols. But this tape is divided into a number of tracks like this. We can divide this tape into number of tracks. 
let this is track 1 let this is track 2 let this is track 3 let is let it is track 4 okay track 1 contains one input string track 1 contains one input string track 2 contains another input string track 3 contains another input string track 4 contains another input string uh, finite control in any tuning machine you will have only one finite control whether it may be two way or multi tape or non deterministic or multi dimensional or multi head or offline or multi track you will have only finite one finite control here this finite control points to only one column okay uh, this column contains a a b a then we can replace a a b a with uh, some symbols let us replace a with x let us replace b with y okay so q not comma so here what is this column a comma a comma b comma a is equal to we are replacing with uh, x comma x comma y comma x let us generate a new state like that state is q1 okay so this is about uh, uh, different types of tuning machines or uh, variants of tuning machine or modifications of tuning